Before we actually try to solve this, fraction times x equals another fraction, let's think about what it's asking for a second. It says 5 sevenths of some number is equal to 1 quarter. Well, that number has to be bigger than a quarter if only a fraction of it equals 1 quarter. So I'm guessing something a little bigger than a quarter, maybe 3 eighths or um, something like 5 sixteenths might be about what I'm looking at. Just to get a rough estimate so I keep myself honest when I'm doing the procedure to think about what I might get. What to do is cancel out the 5 sevenths. And I can do so by multiplying it by its reciprocal. The reciprocal of a number is nicely going to cancel things out. The 7 cancels with a 7, the 5 with the 5 by cross simplification. And to keep it balanced, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by uh, 7 fifths. So when I do, multiply top by top, bottom by bottom, x is going to be equal to 7 over 4 times 5, which is 20. The answer of 720 seems to be in the range I was thinking, more than a quarter but less than a half, which, which makes sense. Now, if I want to check it and make sure it's absolutely correct, I'm going to plug in 720 to my original, and I'm going to do 5 sevenths times, in this case, 7 twentieths. And that, uh, see nicely, the sevens are going to cancel, leave me with a one and a one, and also the five and the twenty cancel out because five goes into twenty-four times. That actually works out quite nicely, and yes, it is one-fourth, so the whole thing does check out. Uh, so again, our trick to doing this whole thing was to, in the beginning step, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction we're multiplying x by. Thank you.